Welcome to VAM Physics and Engineering. Two things, I will be slower getting videos out, and I would love to see more competition in this space. So I thought I would share my video making process, and there will be a frequently asked questions at the end of this video. So I use Microsoft PowerPoint to create slides based off of problems I think up or problems that I come across in a textbook and change around to make my own. The way I do this is by making a final slide with all of the math on it. When making the slide, I like to use a color-coded system for all the variables and divins because it is easier to follow what happened between these steps. So it's kind of like you have an artificial synesthesia. I then make multiple copies of the slide, then take out information depending on which step of the video I'm on. After your slides are completed, you can hit the file save as, then save as a JPEG. Then you will get a dialog box that will come up, which you click on every slide, and this will create a folder with all of your slides in it as a JPEG file. Then you can place all of your slides into an editing software. I use Movie Studio Platinum, which is an entry-level, hobbyist-level video editor. I will sometimes use stop motion to make objects move by slowly moving the objects on the slides in PowerPoint frame by frame, then putting all the slides together in a video editor. Fun fact, here is the first video I ever made for YouTube back in 2008 for another channel. Or if I'm doing an experiment, I will overlay an experiment video by placing the video on another track above the slide. In parallel to this, I usually make a strip that is separated based off the slides and paragraphs. In the old days, I used to just rattle off whatever I was thinking, but I found that I get a cleaner, more polished video if I stripped it out. On to the frequently asked questions. How long do these videos take? They usually take about two to eight hours to complete. It depends on if I'm doing an experiment or how in depth I have to research something. I like your video, but I think I could improve upon it. Well, if you see one of my videos, you are welcome to improve upon it as long as you are making your own graphics and voiceovers. I don't own the laws of nature, and nobody really does, so you can make them freely. Why do you make these videos? Well, when I started out, the educational content on YouTube was more of a wild west, where you'd often find that you couldn't find the problem that you're working on, or it'd be hidden somewhere in an hour-long lecture, if you're lucky and the lecture actually had the problem in it. Personally, if I'm cramming for a test, I want to get to the material as soon as possible. Oftentimes, I will click and cut right to the math in the video. I figure there are probably other people who are as impatient as me and set out to make a channel that quickly and concisely goes over physics and engineering problems, so I'm not wasting your time. I have been in courses where the professor's teaching style did not work for me and saw a great value in sharing what I've learned for free. I also enjoy the challenge of explaining concepts. It's true what they say, you don't really understand something until you can teach it. 